Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday, June 2nd, 2017. Oh, it's Friday. It's going to be another beautiful day here on the east coast of the United States. I hope it's fine where you are today. Let's talk about what I'm going to fill my pockets with on this Friday. I've got my Hewer Monaco, which I love. It's a nice rugged, but also nice classy kind of watch. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me sniff. Ah. Oh. I bought a lot of these because it was hard to find my Gloria Cabana uh, Cuban cigars. I love these even when they're not Cuban. In the 80s when I started smoking cigars, but man, to find the Cubans, they're so hard to find. And when I did, I just grabbed as many as I can. It's a great smoke. It's wonderful for my Friday Later on tonight after work to introduce me into the weekend. This is my Shone Design pen. It's bronze. You know what? I'm, I'm doing whiskey today. I haven't done it in a while. Except at my one of my local watering holes. One of my local soda shops. <laughs> That's uh, my Mont Blanc uh, skinny wallet. And the coin today, yesterday I did one of the presidential coins from the U.S. Mint. And I'm not talking about the dollars. This is a full one ounce silver. They had this limited edition uh, series of a lot of different presidents. A lot. I think like five or six of them. I was lucky enough to get each one. This is a John F. Kennedy coin from the Mint. Carrying that for good luck today. I always carry a one ounce silver coin for good luck. That's because my grandfather always had a pockets full of the U.S. silver dollars. We don't do silver dollars anymore. Not the real stuff since 1964. But uh, it was so great. I'm older than most of you. I'm 57. Get nice penny candy, two cent pretzel sticks. <laughs> you know, the guy at the corner store used to give me a little brown paper bag. Um, <laughs> and you just fill it with candy, uh, make you feel like, you know, you're rich. So good feelings. And, and now I collect some silver coins and I make sure I have a one ounce silver coin from around the world in my pocket at all times for good luck. Let's talk about the carry. I like this carry, especially for a Friday. Here's one of my, um, Serge Pachanko claw coins. You guys know I love these. I have two of them. One has brass along with the titanium. This is a full tie version. S35 VN steel. One inch blade. It looks so nice closed. Let me just tell you. You can wear it around your neck. I use it as a keychain knife. No one even recognizes this as a knife. And in a pinch, nice little edge to cut open a box or envelope or anything like that. It's just a nice little knife. That's the Serge Pachenko uh, claw coin. Yeah, I'm carrying my Chris Reeve Manundi. Manundi is Zulu for nice, very nice. Not just nice, very nice. And you want to know something? The Manundes from Chris Reeve, very nice. This is the spalted beach handle inlay, wood inlay, which I really like. It's just beautiful. One of the newer inlays that Chris Reeve introduced, four new in inlays this year, and that's one of the newer ones. Really love it. It's so fancy. On top of that titanium, you see the titanium liners with these wonderful inlays, and then... I needed to step it up even another notch, and that is the basket weave Damascus. Is that unfrickin' believable? Look how beautiful that is. And it's packed. The layers of steel are packed so tight to make that basket weave pattern. 
that I just love the ridge of this knife blade. It just looks great. Everything about this looks great. Of course, it has a frame lock, the Chris Reeve integral frame lock. I know it seems like <laughs> it's a liner lock, but it isn't. And then, of course, this, what I call a tie clip kind of clip. It's just a beautiful, well-sculpted clip that disappears in your palm. You don't feel it at all. This is by far one of the best gentleman folders I've seen. Uh, it's just really nice. Chris Reeve Manundi. It only weighs 1.5 ounces. It's very light. That basket weave Damascus does some good cutting too. It's very sharp. 2.75 inches. And then I thought I'd pull out my first custom ever. <laughs> and what a custom it is. This is a wonderful Robert Carter custom generalist. It's number nine. And uh, man, it's just a great one. I was lucky enough to have, I mean, all of this is luck. I was on Instagram. I follow them. I was lucky enough to have money in my pocket. I think it was a payday. I'm not a big custom knife guy, but I have dished out some money on about six or seven very good custom knives. He put this up. I think he got stiffed by someone, a client, and I won the bid. Woke up the next morning, realized I won the bid. And he was emailing me and he went, man, you won the bid. You know, I don't, I'm not happy with the plain clip. And that morning he kept sending me pictures of him in his shop putting together this wonderful clip. What a personable guy. Great customer service. I actually bring up this story uh, myself at work with my team sometimes on customer service. <laughs> I don't know Robert Carter. He doesn't know me, but let me just tell you something. I actually, believe it or not, here's a guy doing his trade of knife making. I use it in business with my small team. Talk, I give this kind of lesson of customer service, and after two or three years, I still remember that action. That's very important. Sheep's foot acid stone wash to perfection. That jimping is real nice. It's right on the edge of too much, but it's not. It's real grippy. Flips like a dream. 3.4 inch, all tie, anodized, titanium backspacer. And ooh, that clip, that clip. Very nice. His initials and number nine are inside there. Just a wonderful knife. I'm happy to have the custom. I hear the inexpensive production version of the Generalist is good, too. I, I keep thinking I'm just going to pick it up to pick it up. It, it's inexpensive, and people say it's nice. It'd be nice to compare the two, but, oh, I'm happy I've got that custom from a great guy, really great guy. <laughs> you know, when you, when you say all those nice things about someone you really don't know, <laughs> uh, you know that's very good. The knife that got away, I wasn't going to carry the custom today, but I figure it's Friday, why not, is a knife that was highly anticipated by me and a lot of other people. It's the Spydeco Advocate. It's the flipper, the first flipper from Gail Bradley from Spydeco. You guys probably know the Gail Bradley. It's on top of a lot of folks' best knife, Spydeco knife list, mine included. They then released the Air, which I love, the little gentleman's folder. And then the Gail Bradley 2. And all of those have Crucible's M4 steel. Retains an edge. Very strong. You just got to take care of it. It will rust on you. It's not stainless steel. And so when Spyderco said they're working with Gail Bradley for a flipper, I got very excited. And I love this flipper. Now, people are telling me the washers suck. Now, you guys know I have a big collection. I rotate a lot of things. That's why we do this pocket dump deconstruction every day. And I'm not a hard-use person, but I've seen it. People I respect on YouTube showing that. Mine hasn't hit that, but you need to be aware of it. Other than that, man, this would be a perfect knife, I'll tell you. 
orange peel. You see that orange peel? It's not aggressive at all, but it helps to hide some of the snail trails. It gives you a, not really grip, but it gives you a nice texture. See-through construction. The clip is right, left, tip up. 3.5 inch blade, flat ground, full flat ground, just a wonderful knife. Feels good, the jimping is just nice. It's very light too, that's what I like about it. But I decided to go custom. I decided to get my Robert Carter. I'm gonna slip it into a uh, Chris Reeve leather sheath and then clip this to my pocket. That's it, folks. That's the Pocket Dump Deconstruction. Thank you for watching. We've been doing this well over a year now, and we're going to continue to do it with your support. You guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the videos. You guys have a perfect day. Take good care of yourself. Seriously. Have to be a little bit selfish in order for you to be unselfish with your family and friends, all right? You have a perfect one. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.